Yeah, I have I have tough moments. Like, I'm sorry, I keep going back to jail, but all of it kind of in the same in the same yeah. uh, uh, time frame. So I lost my nan, my granddad, and my dad in 18 months. But when I when I buried my so I found out my dad was getting going to be sick. It was was sick. Sorry, at the end of February, and he died in March in May. Sorry. So it was a real quick turnaround in terms of when he died. I buried him on the Friday. I went to jail on the Monday. Did you? You already a professional player when you went to jail? Yeah, yeah. I was twenty two. You were playing with who? Watford. Was that Watford? Is that Watford already? Yeah. Yeah. So I just it was my it was my. Second year at Watford. Um, so how did the club? How did the club respond? I never see anybody ask you that question. How did the club respond when you told them, "Listen, I gotta go in for three months"? Do you know, do you know what I did? So, the the court system in the UK is a little bit different. So you get you get arrested, obviously at the same at the scene of the crime, and go through that process. Um, and I already knew, like I was I was in a bad way, like. I was probably defeated at that moment. I was drinking daily, like drinking Jack Daniels daily. Um, I was just in a bad place. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I just I had so much emotion that I hadn't dealt with or untangled that I was angry, I was aggressive. I like, showed the missus some pictures of me at that age. And it was just a, if you got in my way, I was just gonna take you out. Yeah. It, it could have been anything. You stood on my shoe, you was getting it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You blocked me in when you was just stopping to park the car, you was getting it. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I won't, I should never have went out, but I did. And we got into that situation, and I and I just basically pled guilty at, at the scene, like when they arrested me, and after they fucked me up, they um, they basically just said to me like, "What do you want to do?" I went, "Look, I'm guilty. I I plead guilty. I take the charges for everyone." Uh, unfortunately, they didn't do that. They put four of us, me, my best friend, my brother, and his best friend in a. We had a trial, and then you get to the trial date. And it's your sentence there and then it and but I already knew I was going to jail. My solicitor said, You're going, it's just how how minimal we could get you. Um, and that's why we took the, the guilty plea straight away because in the UK they can't change your um what they're trying. You want you I was I was going down for a fray, but yeah. I was trying to change it to UBH. But you can't bring it change. down. Yeah, what once you've already pled guilty to it, you can't change it. Mm. Mm. So we already went, we went guilty on the lesser charge because that carried a maximum of two, two and a half years, I think. Mm -hmm. Whereas GBH was eight to 10 years. If you're convicted. So when I, when I went to court, the judge literally said, like, why is he only on this? After watching the video, why is he only on this case? He should be on GBH. So thankfully, we didn't take it to trial and try and be clever because yeah. I, I, I wouldn't be here to tell the tale. I would have been put away for at least four or five years. Easy.